Good morning, this is Natalia and welcome to my channel. Today I'm just going to show you a variety of palm tree and palm plants we have in our property. So this beautiful palm, it's called Sylvester Palms. I absolutely love them. Just look how gorgeous they are. Look at the trunk. Gorgeous. I really, really, really love this palm. So far, actually, it's my favorite palm on our property. And it's just stunning. Stunning, stunning, stunning. Beautiful. This beautiful palm, it's a Colin Christmas palm. Of course, it has a different name. But it's known as a Christmas palm. This palm comes up to five prawns. So we have three, as you can see, three prawns, but they actually come up to five prawns. And I think it's really beautiful too. It's a beautiful palm. So I planted some orchids in the middle and it's gorgeous when they bloom it. So this is a Christmas palm. So these gorgeous palms, and we have nine of these trees on our property, several of them around the pond and on the corners of the house. So I think it's a gorgeous palms everywhere. And it's called Dwarf Date Palm. So this is the same one. It's a two prone we have, and there is a, one point. It's a beautiful, it's actually really easy to propagate by the seed and they have a lot of seeds falling off and the beautiful tropical gorgeous palms of palms. This small palm is called a ponytail palm. And we have one more in our property. I'm going to show you later when we're going to get there. It's actually already bloomed. And now it's have a new growth right there. And look at this trunk. How cool is that? It's really slow growing palm. This is one of the Madagascar palm. They call it palm. They're actually not really palm, but it's a cactus family. And let me show you another one. This one, another Madagascar palm. And it's actually gonna bloom soon. Look at this. How exciting is this? I think it's really unique plant. It's gorgeous, but be really careful with this. It's prickly. Look at those needles. Really, really cool plant, for sure. This palm is a royal queen palm. It's pretty cool looking. It's gorgeous and tropical palm as well. So pretty. So these palms I think everybody knows what kind of this. It's a coconut palms. We have total of 11. And look at those coconuts. We're getting coconuts every year. It's non-stop, non-stop production of the coconuts. I think it's a truly, truly tropical plant. Coconuts, everything is associated with the coconuts and the tropicals. In my opinion, of course. Let's look at these beauties. It's a foxtail palms. I think they're absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous. We have a total of five on our property and I absolutely love them. Just look at the palm fronds, you know? Oh, it's gorgeous. It's like foxtail. <laughs> Oh, it's, uh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's tropical. It's perfect. And look 
look at this flowers and the seeds like tiny small coconuts this palm called old man palm and we have two of them they seems like really slow growing but they are pretty cool look at the trunk look at this it looks like beard <laughs> it's it's pretty cool palm though it's really interesting Okay, so this palm, it's really cool. It's called Triangle Palm. And of course they have different scientific name. This is how I remember. And I think it's easier to remember. And look at this trunk. It's a triangle. That's how it's called Triangle Palm. It's pretty cool. It's really cool. Really cool palm. We have three of them on our property. This is called Chinese fan palm. We have two of them in the pots and two on the ground. And I think they're pretty cool. I have on the both sides of our pergola to go on the trail. So it's a really beautiful entrance gorgeous palms and of, of course we have several palmettas on the property it's a florida native it's pretty cool this palm is called cardboard palm i'm not really sure if it's a palm family probably it's a different family because it doesn't look like palm but it's called cardboard palm i think it's pretty cool tropical plant so these two beautiful plants it's calling traveler palms. Some people call them the fan palms. Of course, it's not a palm family, but they just call them like this. It's also coming from Madagascar. And I think it's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous plant. Just look at this beauty. It definitely look like a fan. Look at this huge trunk. Gorgeous. I think it's absolutely beautiful. It just brings like a wow factor. Awesome. This palm is actually from Hawaii, origin of Hawaii, and its name of it, Pritchardia Bicariana. I'm not really sure if I pronounce it right, and I really don't know what is the uh, normal name you know like for this palm but it's actually pretty cool it's look like chinese palm but the front doesn't have needles and look how big it is i think it's such a gorgeous palm okay so this is arica palms and we have over 150 in our property. We place them as a, next to the fence area. Arica palms. This is lady palms. They're still small, but they're growing. We have several of them on our property, like four. And I think they're pretty cool. This palm, it's called a Mexican palm. It's gorgeous, it's beautiful, it's different. Look at this front. It's really big. Gorgeous palm. I love it. Look at the trunk. 
Oh yeah. Gorgeous. These palms is called an Everglades palms. And it's really cool looking. I like the, how they're looking near our pond. Beautiful. Beautiful, different, different gorgeous palms. This beautiful palm, it's called Angeli Palm. Of course, it's a different name I cannot pronounce. So, yeah, look at this. And look at this fronds. Beautiful. It kind of like crooked a little bit. <clears throat> it's so pretty. I love it. It's definitely a different one. Gorgeous. It's a blue one. And we have another one. On the property it's a little bit right there on the side let's go closer and look at this gorgeous beautiful so i'm gonna show you from this side we have mexican palms uh everglades right there two sylvesters everglades and the mexican again it's gorgeous what do you guys think this palm actually my husband's favorite palm it's called bismarck it's a uh, blue leaves it's gorgeous it's different and my husband is loving it look at the trunk of it beautiful So this one is Erika palms. I guess that we have more than 150 of them. To plant it next to the fence of the privacy. So hopefully it's gonna grow fast and give us a lot of privacy. It's really cool looking, I think. Beautiful. Here we have another two Mexican palms. Look at the size, difference in the size. So obviously they like a lot of water. So when you have a lot of water, they definitely grow in bigger and faster. All these plant palms, Mexican palms were planted in the same time. Oh yeah, that's interesting. They like water. This small, tiny palm, it's actually from our coconut. So we just had coconut implanted here and now it's growing. Obviously it's really easy to propagate coconut palm. How cool is that? This palm called battle palm. It's need to be shrimped but we'll get into it. It's really pretty, it's different. Trunk reminds you as a bottle. Pretty cool. This palm is really small, but it's pretty cool. Hopefully it's gonna grow fast. It's called fishtail palm. And why it's calling this name? Because it's look like fishtail. Pretty cool. We have two of them on our property and I cannot wait until it's gonna grow. This palm, it's called in Florida touch palm. We plant it in the pots because it's slow growing. It's like water and it's next to our water feature. It's pretty cool palm. It's gorgeous, beautiful, awesome. This plant is called birds of paradise. It's a cousin of traveler palms. Even this not palms, but people call them palms. It looks like more banana plants, 
but still it's really gorgeous and pretty and truly tropical this is young palm it's called phoenix Rekinata. at least i think this is how pronounced it's really young it's really bushy but it's it's pretty tropical palm on this note i'm gonna say have a blessed day everybody until next time thank you for watching my videos i really appreciate it have a blessed day Bye.